Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech It. Okay, straight into it. First thing I need to do, I need to move my quarry. Because it is finished. Now, I just did the default 9x9, and it didn't turn out much. Now, I was, I was using a lot of resources, but really, yeah, didn't get me too much. It was pretty, pretty, pretty solid turnout, honestly. But all I'll do is, well, I'll move it, but I'm going to make it bigger. So, I'll show you something you need. First of all, we're going to need to grab three of those. We're going to need three of those. And three of these. There we go. So, like that there. Make yourself some redstone torches. And make yourself some landmarks. That's how it goes. Alright, so landmarks are used for a lot of things. I'll be using them in con um, conjunction with builders and um, fillers in this very episode. And, well, they're used for quarries and many different things, actually. It's used to dictate the area for something to build within. So, in this case, I'm going to use it for my quarry. Now, I did 9x9 nine nine with default. I usually like to do 32. So, I'd have to place the markers at 33 blocks apart because it digs within the the blocks of that so 33 will actually give me 32 square um, you can go all the way up to 64 but and so you technically get 63 square um, there is a problem though uh, quarries on multiplayer uh, they need quite good chunk loading and so if you log off they you know they won't they won't operate properly you most likely come back to nothing being dug at all or sometimes you come back to um, just a section being dug out. So I never go up to 63 because it never gets it all. Uh, in newer versions of Buildcraft, Buildcraft 3, quarries have um, built in. Um, they have it built in. So they actually will just... Chunk cleaning, that is. So they actually will just keep, going, keep on going. Even when you're not online, which is awesome. But in this, you have to use something called a world anchor. That's one there. They're pretty pricey. A couple of diamonds, some obsidian, and some gold. I use them. I have never honestly had uh, too many problems. I did have one problem on a server where all the chunks in one area were corrupt, but I don't actually think that was a world anchor's fault, so I've never actually had a problem. Um, but you will find most servers have them banned. You may be able to make... Oh, do I even have it? I don't think I do. Oh, there we go. You may be able to make a dimensional anchor, which is far cheaper, but... Um, Unless you have the right permissions, they don't load a very large space, and you can only put down a couple. I prefer world anchors, I will be using them, they are pretty pricey, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but they're helpful. On a multiplayer server, just a tip, if you want to get around it, one thing you can do, better go actually start pulling this quarry out rather than just standing there talking. What you may actually want to do is just say, go and stand next to your quarry, like this, and then just encase yourself. You know, just in case yourself, block yourself in, you know, cover yourself from all sides, make a little room right next to your quarry, and pop some torches down so no monsters spawn in on you, and just stand in there, go to bed, go, go to school, or whatever. Just do that, and your quarry will keep working because your character's nearby loading the chunks, and yeah, don't blame me if you get banned for that, <laughs> but th that is one little way you could, um, you could keep it loading when you're offline. Well, online, technically. Uh, it's just a pick for energy, energy links, I believe. Oh, thank God. Just a pick for quarries as well. Oh, cool, but this one here needs my wrench. Where is it? There it is. Oh. Before I use that, I want to turn that into an electric wrench. I actually meant to do that when I first made it, but I completely forgot. A, did I put that there? That's weird. <laughs> anyway. Oh, good work. Oh, Christ. There we go. Now oh, I forgot what I was doing. Ah, yes. I need to make an electric wrench. So, oh, let's grab all the usual junk. Two of them. I'm assuming by now you guys are getting these recipes down. You use them so much in Tekkit that they, they, they become just knowledge, just something you know. Alright, that's an electric wrench. Obviously this comes with the um, the added benefit that it just runs out of charge. It doesn't actually break. So, charge instead of durability. Doesn't take much to charge it. It's a simple 
simple electrical item. Oh, it's actually starting to get dark. I don't actually want to get blown up when messing with my quarry. So let's have a nap. Alright. Refreshed. Revitalized. Actually, I'm going to take a little peep and see where we might actually put this sucker. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really want to just destroy the land here. It's, I, I, I do dislike having to do it. So I'm actually going to dig a few blocks down, I think, and um, build it under. I mean, I know it still decimates underneath, but at least it doesn't actually destroy <laughs> the, the, the viewable landscape. So I think I might dig it under... Oh. Actually, I'll dig it. I'll dig it far away, and we'll make some. We'll make some teleport pipes. I'll show you teleport pipes. Now these are another thing to be careful on multiplayer servers with teleport pipes. Um, ooh, there are just certain things you can do uh, with leaking out pipes, and and if you get your setup wrong, you may end up cycling constantly through the um through the teleport pipe, and that just lag, 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 and you'll crash the server. So, check your server rules, but they should be okay, because in most cases, they actually stop it from having to calculate every step of the way along all these pipes, because every time it goes through a pipe, it calculates, and that takes a, you know, a cycle on the server's CPU to, to figure out, because um, that's how it works. So, every time it goes through one, it calculates. So, having a teleport pipe, in a lot of ways, can reduce lag, but because they're buggy, buggy as hell. Because of that, you can end up with um, a lot of problems. So, check your server, um, check with your admin, just in case. But you should be right, I hope, because they're bloody helpful. Okay, bam, let's do this. Where are my landmarks? Here we go. Yeah, so you technically only need three. I got my jet. Might I put that there? I'm gonna put my jet back on. <sighs> Disturbed. Let's go. Alrighty, I'll show you these diamond teleport pipes. Well, not diamond teleport pipes, they're just teleport pipes. Here they are. You can waterproof them and um, power them, of course. So here they are. I'll show you them. There's two diamond gears. They ain't messing around. Not cheap. Really not cheap. <laughs> oh, I had a heap of tin in there. So we're going to grab a whole bunch of resources to condense, because what else can I do? Oop, wrong one. That's what I want. We'll take that and put some paper in there, I guess. Okay, so we're going to need eight of these. So let's start with the silver. It's, oh, that didn't go very far. Alright, guys. God, I pretty much bled dry from all of that. <laughs> So, we're going to need to get this quarry up so we can start getting a lot more resources in here. Okay, so, it's going up through the gears. Here we go. There we go. Item teleport pipe. That just made things a whole lot easier for us. Cool. From here, it gets a lot better. So, pretty much, I'm going to just fix this up real quick. Okay. Here's how they work. Let me show you. So, bam. I'm just going to put that down. I'm going to put this little lever next to it. As I do wish to have some running. Just to make sure everything's going as quick as possible. There we go. Now, bam. That's your teleport pipe. Oh, God. Hopefully I don't crash when I right-click it. As sometimes will happen. And just for no seemingly good reason, they will. Never put two teleport pipes too close together. They just... Things do not go well. Right, click it. Ah, oh, it worked. See, now, it has a set owner. So, I'm the owner of this one. And nobody else can mess with it. But they can knock it off and put it back down onto theirs. But anyway. It's also how it links up the frequencies. So, you're not having to... Um, try and make sure you're not getting the same frequencies as someone else. So you're not crossing frequencies. So, your frequencies are set to your character. So, very good. Now, we'll just take all main 
main items from a quarry in. That's pretty much our main source for something. We'll take that in through frequency. I'm just going to do frequency 1. Now, this is the frequency that is receiving the item. So, can receive, false, true. We want it to receive. So, frequency 1 can receive. It's mine. Now, pity of that is, is if um, I go and place another block down and set that to, you know, not receive, so send, it'll just send, and then come straight in here on the same frequency. They connect. Simple as, and I'm sure you figured it out, that's how they work. <laughs> so let's get it going. Bam. Get all this ready. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to find a spot not too far off, but a bit further off. Now, I do mainly want to be establishing in most of this area over here for my area, so... Hmm. It's quite nice over there as well, though. Uh, let's go this way. We'll just fly over here a bit. I think I'm going to go to... I'm going to go 52. Here we go. 52. Alright. Hold that one down. Now we're on block CR201. This is Z. We're on 201. Okay, so we need to add 33 to that. So we need to go to 234. Okay. At block 52. What am I doing? God. Let's get this on. Let focus. Oh, yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, let's put that there. And now we need to head this way. See, as you can tell, we're creating a square. And as you can see, there's already a few, few ores down here. So, I'm liking the look of this. Pretty lame that there's kind of a cavern here because that equals a lot of dead space. But it can also equal a lot of ores and um, a, quicker, a quicker quarry. So, let's hope for that. Look on the bright side of life, huh? I would whistle it, but it would... when I whistle on Skype, they tell me it's quite loud, so I might avoid that. <laughs> I forgot to count up the blocks, so we're on X at the moment, so 274, and it's going down, so we need to go 33, so we need to go down to 241. Well, let's try, that's 241 there. Okay, let's just run back, because you, you set it off on the corner, so we've got that end, this one here, and down there, set it off on this one, because then it connects to both those, and you get a square. Uh, most would say make four and place four, but you don't have to place four. So um, if I've lined this up right, let's see, 274, yeah, that should be right. See that? Oh, did it do it down there? Yep, yeah, see? See how it's created the extra laser? You don't need the fourth, because if you have three, well, even if you have two, really, but see so you have three, and it's quite noticeable, the shape, so it sets itself. Easy done. Now, we're going to need to do a little bit of digging here. A, I need to get some direct sunlight. There we go. Solar array into there. That should now power that. Alrighty then. Cool. That should start up as soon as it turns day. I'm going to go and get these um, landmarks that fell. No point having to pay for them again. I say that, but trust me, I always usually just leave them. <laughs> once you get this really going, I mean, once you get into a nuclear reactor, and you get um, sort of two, especially four, quarries running simultaneously at um, these blocks, you make a lot of... you make mo money. Alright, we just need to get the pipe onto this sucker. Yeah, you probably thought I forgot. I totally forgot. We're going to do this. Alright. Let me pop this down here, so I can get myself a bit of power on my pipe. I have to heighten the, point, the pitch of my voice at the end of every sentence. It's an Aussie thing, trust me. Trust me, it is an Aussie thing. Okay. There we go. As you can see, not a receiving pipe. Set to frequency 1. I know it says zero connected pipes, but if I go to the one that is receiving, that should say one connected pipe. Um, but anyway, trust me, it'll work. There's that, and, well, I'm going to need to go and get a world anchor. Fun. And we have to wait for daytime anyway, so 
I'll go do that, and we'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, got the world anchor. So, pretty much you just need to put it as close to pos as, as possible, as close to, the item you want to keep the chunks loading with. So, obviously it's the quarry, so I'm just going to pretty much, bam, whack it against the face of the quarry. Now, that'll keep everything here ticking, the pipes running, and pretty much means, even while I'm not there, everything will flow into my base. So, and we'll probably go out here. And, well, hmm. My land should encompass pretty much all around. I would love to eventually, you know, build a, a far larger structure, a far more monolithic in the center here and make this sort of almost the hub. But it wouldn't be my own personal estate, most likely. It would more be a central hub for everybody. But I'd like to turn this into that. So I'm, th I'm, including, I'm going to expand around the center of this. Um, so I think we might start simple. What I might do is dig out a bit here, get a path leading over to this bit here, and I'll actually create a filler once I've got a few resources. And I'll use the filler, even though it's called a filler, I'll use it to empty and destroy all these blocks here. So it breaks them, pops them onto the ground. In order to do that with efficient power, hmm, well, there are a couple of things I can do. I can tap into my geos using energy links and well more like engine generators and such and things like that to get power to it but mm, I may just make another low voltage solar array which are very effective easy to maintain no fuel and honestly not hard to make and not too much really it's just time consuming and that's a real pain so I reckon I'll make those um. alright guys I ended up just running over and um oh, I did some manual mining with the mining laser actually it's um well as I've shown it it's very effective so rather than just sit here and wait for this to actually start churning anything out which I'm gonna have to go check soon because well I haven't done anything yet that I've seen but I have been out of the house we'll see Okay, so we're building the filler to start emptying some areas, so... I still need to make the array, but we got all this for now, so... Was that there? Was that? That? Some of that? Couple of those? And one of them? Filler. Right there. There we go. New machine. Hurrah! Gonna need to make myself mm, another landmark to use it, but... For now, I'm going to go check on this quarry, so just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'll explain how they... Oh, God. I'm trying to... Oh! I'm trying to talk. Delinquents at the door. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go check on this quarry and see what the deal is, make sure it is working, and then I'm going to uh, hopefully, if I have enough make another low voltage solar array and then we'll get into it a bit more okay okay guys I've got this low voltage array now and also uh, the filler the energy link as well oh, I forgot about the energy link and I'm going to flatten out over here so once again let's pull this up had to make myself one extra landmark now whack this down and we're on block 7 uh, Let's just go forward a bit, huh? What, what are we on? 64. So let's just move forward. Mm, that one's connected. Let's see if this one's okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, no. It's coming from there, so it must have worked. Alrighty. So we fenced off the area. Let's use the actual filler. So... Pop it down. There it goes. Hmm. I'm not sure if I had to set landmarks to actually box up. and uh, It may only take out the one layer in this, but nonetheless, we'll, we'll do it for now. I'll show you how it goes. So, energy link. That. There we. Now, it will not start up straight away. This is the filler itself. So, up here, you have to set a pattern. 
and in here you have to fill the filling resources. Now, we're not actually needing to put resources in there, so we're doing the filling pattern. Now, you need glass. And you just fill in all nine blocks. See? There's a pattern. And... It should start working. Ah. Yep, here it comes. See? See that? When you got the glass in there, that is the um, sort of the clearing one. So it will now just block by block. Now, um, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to take out everything, like as high as, say, a quarry goes. I don't think it does. So generally, you would have to create up and put another layer of um, landmarks, and it'll actually create a full box. And you can box an entire area and destroy. But as you can see, we'll leave that to flatten that out. And over here, we'll now be able to put something. So, I'll readjust it once it's done with the bottom layer, so that does the whole lot, and yeah, we'll have one big flat surface. You can also set it using bricks and glass, so that it destroys all the blocks in the flat surface, and if there are any holes below, oh, I thought that pig was a creeper, if there are any holes below, it will place um, whatever you fill in there in the holes. So for now, that's going to stop for the night, but that ought to flatten that area out, and it should look pretty good. Alright guys, the filler is finally finished out here. So, as you can tell, it has cleared the entire bottom block layer. I actually went to town with my uh, mining laser, pew pew, and um, took out the rest. Uh, oh, you can, see where I'm, you can see where I've missed a chunk over there, actually. Um, anyway, if you bound it up properly, it will take out all the blocks at the proper heights. I'll show you how to do that next time, as I'll probably end up just taking out that chunk over there next. So this is what it looks like. Does a good job. Nice and flat. Nice and flat. Now there are a few other things you can do with a filler. I told you about the other, the different other um, recipes you can put into the, up here. But let me show you a trick. So at the moment I just have it bound to this bottom layer. So you can just fill it. Mm. It's that one. You fill it like that, and it'll fill the entire area solid with blocks. So if I had this bound up, it would fill one big just solid block. Um, if you take that out, it does ceilings, floors, and walls all around, and I'd have to raise it up in height as well. But I'm just going to do it like this, and if I do it like this on the one layer block, it'll actually just create one big flat bed. So that's a marble. I want to use marble. See how it's ticking away? It's already doing it. Where is it? There it goes. See that? So that is one really quick way. Because uh, have you ever done that? Have you ever filled out like a 32 or greater square area manually? It is pain. Now I know this isn't that quick, but once you have nuclear nuclear reactors and things like that going, or high voltage solar arrays, or just a just even a medium voltage actually. Um, this will just blaze through. It's so quick on, on nuclear and on HV arrays. It's actually a few blocks a second. Uh, it's ridiculously fast. So once you get that going, you can just keep expanding. So from here, um, it's pretty easy. I'll just move the filler to the next area, f empty out the area using the clear pattern, then fill it up with what I want, which, well, it may be marble over to the next area. I don't know. Fill it up with what I want and just let it keep going again. And because it works off the array, it's very set and forget until it's done. And once we get that array upgraded or we're piping in to the energy link directly, some nuclear power, when I move up to that, this will just blaze through, blaze through. But for now, plan ahead is to get a builder, show you what I can do with a builder. And there's still quite a few more tricks I can do with this, um, I can do with this filler here. So I'm going to actually, you can, as mentioned, you can create a, a floor, a wall, and a ceiling. So I might demonstrate bounding up small little buildings just to easily create a, a simple, simple um, square structure or shaped structure for a house. And then you can build on top of that. So, and it's also a good way to get some quick, easy building going. But with the builder itself, I will be able to actually... Um, use another device, though it is pretty buggy, so I will test it before I actually um, spend the resources on it, because it often doesn't work properly. You can actually copy a building, bound it in um, landmarks, copy a blueprint, and then put that in a builder, and it'll build it. Now, Buildcraft 3, um, they have a better one called an architect table, 
then the um, drawing table, which is what you use to copy the buildings, and this is the drawing table. You can get an architect table, and that is far better because a, a, um, a design table, it just will not actually register what blocks are what in the in the creation. It will only um, it'll just copy the shape, whereas an architect table will actually copy everything where which block was placed and everything like that. So it's really cool. But I don't have that, so <laughs> we'll look towards what we have, which is the um, the current drawing table and um, fillers and builders. So that's probably what we're going to get into next time. Hey guys, hey Tricky here. Thanks for watching the episode. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Share the video if you like. And coming up next time, deconstruction construction. We move into expanding more, setting out more um, framework for our large city and getting towards building up some actual uh, structures and moving towards building up a probably nuclear power plant. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Look forward to seeing you guys then. And until then, have a good one.